While Europe deals with extremism and radical Islam, there's another question waiting to confront these governments. ISIS brides, women, European women, who left for Syria years ago and married ISIS fighters. Many fought along with them. Now, ISIS has been as good as wiped out in Syria. Most ISIS brides have lost their husbands. They're now living in refugee camps and they want to return home. The question is, will the European governments let them? In 2019, the United Kingdom revoked the citizenship of one such ISIS bride, Shamima Begum. She was 15 when she left London for Syria. Today, the UK's apex court has refused to allow her to return to the country, even to fight for her citizenship. Estimates say there are at least 500 such European ISIS brides. Did, does Europe have a plan for them? Is there no country for ISIS brides? Should there be a country for ISIS brides? The answer depends on how you view their story. It begins in 2011, Syria. The Islamic State was seizing territory at will. It was recruiting fighters from around the world. ISIS also needed women to marry the fighters, cook and clean for them bear children and, when needed, be human shields. Many women were radicalized in their home countries and sent to Syria. Many were brainwashed on social media. Over 500 women traveled to Syria from the West alone. There are no estimates for the total number. The war in Syria has now ended. The ISIS fighters have been jailed or killed. For their brides, the end of the war spells the beginning of another conflict. This is Shamima Begum. You may be familiar with her name. In 2015, Shamima left the UK to travel to Syria. She was all of 15. She married a Dutch ISIS fighter, lost two of her children to disease. She was found in a refugee camp in 2019. She was pregnant with their third child. Shamima said she had no regrets. The unrepentant teenager sparked a debate worldwide. Should ISIS brides be left to fend for themselves? Or should they be allowed to return home from refugee camps? The UK revoked Shamima's citizenship. Human rights campaigners criticized the move. Legal experts said Shamima should be allowed to appeal. In 2020, a British court ruled the same, adding the ISIS bride be allowed to enter the UK. That door closed today. The UK's apex court has said Shamima cannot return to the country. It upheld public safety over Shamima's right to public hearing. International law says governments cannot render their citizens stateless. But can countries risk allowing highly radicalized women to return home? India too faces a similar question. Two ISIS brides want to return to Kerala. Indian law allows for revoking of citizenship. That is, only if someone shows disloyalty towards the constitution. Do ISIS brides fall under this category? Experts say Shamima and others like her should not be called ISIS brides. These women voluntarily moved to Syria. They believed in the ISIS ideology. The word brides strips them of their responsibility. Should governments make exceptions for women who were kidnapped and taken to Syria? Albania has reportedly adopted a policy of monitoring. It is not prosecuting the ISIS women. In 2019, an American court ruled that Hoda Muthana, a US-born ISIS bride, is not a US citizen. Muthana said she deserves a second chance. Does Shamima deserve one too? Britain says her mother is Bangladeshi, so she can apply for a Bangladeshi citizenship until the age of 21. Today, Shamima Begum is 21. Bangladesh does not want her. Britain has shut its door. Shamima's husband is in a Syrian jail. All her children have died. Shamima is homeless, countryless. Did the 15-year-old Shamima foresee this when packing her bags for Syria? While passing the recent ruling in Shamima Begum's case, a British court said there is no perfect solution for this dilemma. Bureau Report, we own. World is one. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.